there are more serious questions this morning about the details reported by Rolling Stone magazine of a brutal gang rape at the University of Virginia. The Washington Post has uncovered new inconsistencies in the account given by a woman the magazine, magazine calls Jackie. Yeah, the Washington Post story is, is fairly breathtaking. Among the new gaps that they report, questions about the evidence that Jackie offered to identify the man she says orchestrated the attack. And get this, the magazine's assertion that a friend of Jackie would not be interviewed out of loyalty to his fraternity, while the man now tells the Washington Post that Rolling Stone never contacted him. We'll get to the, the what it's doing to uh, sexual assault and the movement there to protect young women in a second, but in terms of the, the, the reputation that's at stake for Rolling Stone, how damaging is that? They've had so many hits over the years, but this is such a glaring miss for them. This is such a uh, a series of mistakes that they've made along the way. And now they're doing this internal review, trying to figure out what went wrong, why they didn't do what they needed to do, why this story wasn't fact checked. And how did they not do it again? Probably, and we're waiting right? for the outcome of that. We might get it today, we might get it tomorrow. What I wonder is whether any heads are going to roll, frankly, there. The writer of this story hasn't said anything for a week now. She's been silent. You call her home phone number, the voice message box is full. So we haven't heard her side of the story, frankly, about this. Maybe she has some great explanation, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah, there's the writer, there's the editor, so many questions. And, yeah. you know, without it, you know, reinvestigating this young woman again, because that's not so much the issue here. This Washington Post piece, what it did is it almost went back piece by piece and, yeah. you know, unraveled parts of the story that Rolling Stone told and found inconsistencies. Yes. And beyond that, they found what appeared to be out and out fabrications that Rolling Stone tried to contact someone who says they were not contacted. I mean, that's a cardinal sin in journalism. If you say you contacted someone, you better dang well have tried to contact them. Uh, I do think it's worth noting that it seems like Jackie's story has evolved over time, but that something traumatic did happen to her. Her friends believe something bad, very bad, did happen her to her. Her father even does. Yeah, that's right. And, and some of the initial reports were that five men were involved. That's what she told her friends initially. Then she told Rolling Stone seven men. I don't think we should get into an argument about whether that's a significant difference or not because her friends believe something very traumatic happened. Mm. However, if the details weren't right in that article, it does undermine the entire article. She has retained a lawyer now, by the way. The lawyer came out yesterday for Jackie and her family and said, we have no comment at this time. Please stop contacting us.